The fact is that my native land is Ukraine. This is the land on which I grew up, and I work on it every day. I had many offers to go abroad to work as an electrical engineer, and I also had offers to work in Uzbekistan, in Kazakhstan as an agronomist. But we work on our land and want to achieve the best results in this sector. I feel that we need to develop our own territory. I work the earth and soil, maybe because I was born in the Kherson Oblast. This is an agrarian region. It has always been renowned for its rich black earth, fields, crops, harvests, and maybe it's in my genes. Oleg Demchenko rents 24 hectares of agricultural land. Three years ago, together with his companion Vitaly Shakov, he began to cultivate asparagus. They took one hectare of land for this vegetable, which is still new to Ukraine. They planted 25,000 Dutch seedlings. They are constantly learning the technology and adaptability of this delicacy plant. Every soil is fertile. The important thing is how you treat it and how you choose the right crop. There is no non-fertile land. It is possible to grow plants even in sand or in clay and achieve good results. Our main crops are asparagus and saffron. They are suitable for any soil, sand, clay, black earth. Asparagus belongs to the group of perennials. It grows in areas with a temperature climate. This is a large part of Europe, North Africa, Australia, North America, in some regions of Asia, even in New Zealand, and now in Ukraine. Asparagus has been known to mankind for more than 2,000 years. The Egyptians ate it and used it as a cure. The Greeks made wreaths for the bride and groom from its furry branches. It was one of the attributes of the worship of Aphrodite, the goddess of fertility and love, and in medieval Europe asparagus was used as an aphrodisiac. The upper sprouts of asparagus, namely shoots, that come out of the root and rise above the soil are considered both a vegetable and a medicine. Commodity asparagus should be 20 to 25 centimeters high. That's exactly the kind of sprout that we simply cut and deliver it to the supermarket, where it will be sold to consumers. It is important that this little knob does not blossom if you want to sell it. And if it outgrows, then it is considered to be rejected. When it is curved, it is also rejected. Here I cut this part, but it is not suitable for sale to consumers. The sprouts should be cut only after two and a half months of growth, so as not to exhaust the root that is in the ground, and also that it will grow healthy and give crops again in the next year. Up until now, the cultivation and culture of consumption of asparagus in Ukraine has not been widespread. Asparagus was quite a rare vegetable in most Ukrainian restaurants. Now it is being researched, grown and tasted. The season of asparagus is very short. This is the end of spring and beginning of summer. In fact, it is like the first strawberry. It is necessary to take advantage of this moment and get from asparagus all the vitamins it offers. Asparagine, or asparagus extract, is the first amino acid obtained by humans. It was a discovery made at the very dawn of the 19th century. It lowers blood pressure and helps remove chlorides, phosphates and harmful salts from the body. In folk medicine, the roots and above-ground part of asparagus were also used for kidney and heart diseases, rheumatism, gout, allergies and even acne. It is not so important for a healthy body, but in case of autists, when there is a major accumulation of sulfur, they become aggressive. They are intentionally given asparagus as a cure. Students of agronomy come to us from many institutes and from many regions of Ukraine to learn the technology of cultivation and look at new crops. They are very interested. Even a pharmaceutical institute took the crops for testing. Oleg Demenchenko's idea of dealing with asparagus arose at an agricultural conference on the niche crops. Later, he and Vitaly learned the details and signed a contract. Asparagus is a profitable business, it has a reasonable price and high productivity. 
Planting material is expensive, and to plant it, it is necessary to work hard. Laying a crop takes eight years. So it's even cheaper than growing strawberries or onions at cost price. And you can earn a lot more. Ukrainians with initiative won the trust of foreign business partners and started specializing in the growing of new crops. The first time we worked with the Dutch, their response was to send it to Ukraine. We need 80% of the prepayment and 20% you have to give back when we bring the planting material. But after two years they began to help us. Well, in fact, they lent us the tulip bulbs. The Dutch also gave us a tractor on leasing terms. Companions plan to soon buy back the tractor and increase the area for growing asparagus tenfold. Agricultural machinery is not needed to grow asparagus. It is only needed for watering and harvesting, and the farmers refuse the chemical fertilizers. All the work is strictly manual, using a hoe. We decided that I would be responsible for technical issues, while Oleg has experience in planting. I'm a person with a goal, I'm spontaneous, and I'm always trying something new. I came to help, and luckily we started to work together. I thought it would last month or two, but we have been working together for six years now. Many people think that he's my son, and by age he fits the bill. Once he worked for me on carrots. When he said this, I was surprised. Well, years have passed and he has grown older. Now we came to an agreement. This spring, photos of the flowering field of tulips attracted people's attention to the farmers' crops. Sightseeing groups came here for almost a month. Our event, Little Holland in Herson Oblast, caught people's attention. There were a lot of tourists and everyone has already tasted and knows what asparagus is. They now want to grow asparagus at home. We are now working on this land, possibly next year. We will sell asparagus seedlings to everyone who wants it. Agrarian is not a profession, but a vocation in which you give everything to your favorite business, the two farmers believe. We can say that they live in this field. As I am walking across this field, I speak with my plants. I say to them, hey, good morning, my dearly beloved, grow one. When you speak to them and give your heart and soul, they grow nicely and become the most nutritional and the tastiest. They plant not only asparagus on the farm, but also saffron, tulips, fruits and greens. The economy is not complicated and encouraging. There is no waste in production. During the packing of asparagus, small pieces are cut off, meaning that they do not disappear. In Europe, they make a paste from them to replenish the trees, and then they mulch, cover the soil and protect the roots from drying out. Farmers notice that among the shoots left on the winter field, there is also a female form of asparagus with seeds. They planted them, then collected them, and then sowed them in a sheltered greenhouse. Asparagus needs time to bear the fruits of labor, so that later there will be a long-lasting and beautiful harvest for 20 years. It is imported by rhizomes planted with rhizomes. Last year we already experimented with planting asparagus with seeds. As it turned out, this experiment gave excellent results. I have already raised 20 bushes. The main part of the plants we have in the field is the male form, because it gives a larger harvest. But there are a small number of female plants that produce these seeds. Now we know how to collect asparagus seeds, and now every Ukrainian can grow an asparagus for themselves, reap a harvest in three years, and thoroughly enjoy eating delicious asparagus.
The farmers love their product, they can cook it, but on the field, in its raw form, asparagus is even more delectable. It tastes like fresh green peas. Cooking it requires a minimum of procedures. It is not even brewed, but simply blanched. To prepare delicious asparagus, water must be prepared. Add spices, salt, pepper, and then make a marinade. And when the water boils, put the asparagus in the pot for two to three minutes. That's all. It is ready. Add it to a fresh potato or to the meat. It is tasty and nutritional. Or just cut it and fry it on a skillet for no more than 15 minutes. It reminds me of something between young potatoes and boiled. Beets. In the past, I never even knew what asparagus is. Mostly white and green shoots are used. There are purple and violet asparagus as well. The white one is considered to be the most valuable. Its tubers are planted deeper and the shoots are cut before they appear on the surface of the soil. Such asparagus is more delicate and it's tastier. Asparagus is an excellent product containing a sufficient amount of protein and many carbohydrates, which is very good for the human body. It contains vitamins, microelements, and also antioxidants. It is an easy product because it does not load our digestive organs at all and does not burden our blood system. Eating asparagus helps remove from the human body all kinds of poisons and toxins that could accumulate, especially as a result of eating protein foods вследствие употребления белковой пищи. Asparagus is not just a delicious vegetable, farmers say. It opened up new windows of business opportunities for them and gave them inspiration. Until autumn, when the field blossoms and purple flowers, saffron ripens. They plan to build a saffron bar in their garden, so that it will be comfortable and convenient for guests. All the decorations are ready. There is even a gun there. When I wanted to earn a lot of money, I thought about it, and it just did not work out. But now, when I thought about more global things, such as health and all of its benefits, now I not only benefit people, but also can earn some decent money. Perhaps it is all interconnected. First, you need to have a hobby when it comes from the heart, then it brings both benefits and material satisfaction. So it is a return on your investment and hard work. Тоді воно, можливо, принесе і користь, і, і матеріальність, і задоволення, і віддачу. There is excitement. Now I saw that it is necessary for people and I will go to the end. And no matter what, I will achieve what I wanted. For the family and for myself. For everyone. Working in the field, I open myself from different sides. I have already become a tractor driver, a welder and even a carpenter. I discovered more than 20 new talents. There's always room to develop yourself. In short, I have a wonderful job which brings me great pleasure. And I believe that everything will turn out just fine. We're developing, and the agricultural sector of Ukraine is developing as well. And I think that everything will work out great for us in this agrarian business.